What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about some new info on the Scream 2022 home release when it eventually comes out uh, for us to be able to buy it. Actually, you can pre-order it. It's been uh, available at pre-order on Amazon for a while. I've pre-ordered the uh, the 4K, the whatever it is, the $30 edition. Uh, and, and the directors had talked about, actually, they did the uh, Reddit AMA yesterday, and they revealed a couple different things. I'm glad an article, I read through the AMA, Bloody Disgusting put a, a couple of things together i do want to throw in one or two other things um as well but basically what we did get confirmation i guess the big thing is that there will be deleted scenes now that may not be the most newsworthy thing in the world a lot of movies in fact hopefully uh, many many movies when they get released you know at home uh they would come with some sort of deleted scenes they did say there will not be an extended cut uh, of Scream. So that's that's definitely interesting, right? We do know, uh, even from the script, there were several things cut out. Uh, there were things filmed that were cut out, and those could very easily just be deleted scenes, which is uh, what they're talking about. Two other parts to it. Number one, one of those deleted scenes is going to have a, another Kirby Easter egg. So we got the definitive Kirby Easter egg in the base movie, but there's actually another scene uh, at the sheriff's station. And this is when Dewey, and again, we've seen this before, when Judy is talking to Dewey. Well, there was more to that scene, you know, overall. Chad and Mindy were also there, and behind them is a Kirby missing persons poster. So that's pretty cool. Now, that does that uh, ruin some of like the lore because then you have that and you combine it with the actual um you know you combine it with the movies uh the actual movies easter egg you know deleted scenes are interesting because do you even consider them part of the the lore the canon of the the franchise because they were cut especially for something like this because wouldn't that kind of contradict well she did survive but then she's is she missing or like do you know where she is so that's that's just something kind of uh, uh funny there and the final two things actually bloody disgusting does throw it in there i noticed this in the AMA and I was very happy about this they actually did record a commentary track so and this is pretty common we, we've seen this in the other screen movies as well where the directors along with the writers so all four of them both the directors both the writers they did a commentary over the entire movie so you could watch that so that's really cool you know I think uh, I don't know how much you're necessarily going to get from that in terms of like new info but you're definitely going to get their you know thoughts to well why did they do this like that or you know why did this happen which I do you know I do think it's actually kind of powerful um um, at least at the very least right even for like criticisms which i you know i have nothing against criticizing uh, aspects of this film at the very least you you can get a sense of where they're coming you know what i mean it's almost a respect factor you can at least respect or know okay well this is what they were thinking or this is what they maybe had to do or had to not do or whatever in this specific scene so i i really like those those are very um those, those can be very eye-opening depending i guess on what they say and the final thing is that the film will be on paramount plus in the near future Future. So that's that was the they added on to that. Now that's really exciting. Uh, I think for a lot of people, you look at obviously the state of the world. Not everybody has been able to see the movie, and and that sucks. It definitely sucks. I think what you could very easily do. I mean, Spider-Man No Way Home is actually a good example of that as well. I believe it's going on video on demand in about a month or maybe a little bit less than a month uh, at the very end of February. So, you know, near future, you may think of that as being like, you know, within the next couple of weeks. I don't think that's what they mean. I mean, that could definitely be wrong, but I could easily see this movie, you know, sticking in theaters another, uh, you know, I, well, it depends on how many uh, how many weeks or how, what's the theatrical window that they have planned for it, but I could very easily see this movie still sticking in the theaters at least another two or so, two weeks at the minimum, in my opinion. Um, and then maybe you take a week or two off for that, or maybe a little bit more, and then you can put it on Paramount Plus and, and go from there. Um, you know, again, I've already pre-ordered. I don't have Paramount Plus, so I just pre-ordered the, the 4K thing, and so I'll add that to my collection. But that is definitely exciting because if people haven't been able to see it yet, maybe another month or so and, and you should be able to get it so that's definitely good news there and so let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me anywhere else i have a twitter i have a second youtube channel i also have patreon and youtube memberships if you guys want to support us there links are in the description below thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video